Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're doing another recreation tree video. So if you weren't here last year, um, last year I recreated my grandparents tree from 1984 and I had a ton of fun doing it. I thought it was just different. I've never seen anyone do that before. So I wanted to do it again this year and this year we are doing my uh, maternal grandparents their tree from 1988 last year it was my paternal grandparents so very excited and this was actually the very first Christmas that I spent with my maternal grandparents which um, just feels extra special and I remember this Christmas very well as well it's probably the first time i have such vivid and full memories of christmas um so yeah and my grandma is actually still alive she just turned 90 so i think i mentioned this in last year's video as well but i feel like nowadays and i think it is largely due to social media everyone has like these perfect looking trees and when I look at this tree, it just reminds me of my childhood and it brings me a lot of joy because when I look at this tree, it's like very simple, not all fancy. It just makes me think like of a family decorating it together and just having fun. And I don't know, I think that element is like gone a little bit because now everyone has like perfect looking trees. Whereas in the past, the only people that really were going to see your tree were your friends and family, unless you took a picture and sent it to someone. So I don't know. Um, now, my grandma now has very different looking trees. They're like magazine quality trees. So she was definitely not affected by social media. So I do think it also has to do with um, the rise in popularity of like design shows because she does watch a lot of design shows. So and she actually has like a very, very like beautifully decorated Christmas home. Not that, that the old way wasn't beautiful. It's just very like magazine quality. And she is very creative with what she does. But I know she does watch a lot of those type of like home improvement design type shows. So I'm assuming that's kind of where she's gotten some of her ideas from. But I'll try to like throw in some photos maybe of her home that I took last year. Okay, so on to the actual tree part of the video. So I found this big thing of silver garland. So it was silver garland on the tree. It was a thinner garland, but I found this thrifting and I try to keep it like pretty eco-friendly when it comes to Christmas. So I would prefer not to buy things new. So we're just gonna make that work. And then I bought these candy canes because I could not find the type that she had on her tree. I think they're quite old. They were made from, like it was almost like a coat hanger material and they were covered in like this white, I don't know if it was paint or it was like a coating. I feel like it was a coating, I guess similar to like a wire coat hanger that has a white coating. And, um, and then it had like a red, you know, for a candy cane around it. I have seen these before and so I thought it would be easier to find them, but I could not find them. So I thought that would be a good substitute. And then I do have a large collection of vintage flocked ornaments. So I thought, you know, that would be pretty good. I don't have exact ones for every one that she had, but kind of good substitutes, I think. Um, some of them are the same, just maybe a different color. So um, she had snowmen on her tree, but it was a little different than the snowmen I have. And then there was some Santas, I think. Um, this is actually, but I did actually have one, this mouse that was identical. Ironically, um, my aunt on my other side of the family had actually given this to me. It belonged to her mother-in-law because um, she just knew that I liked flocked ornaments and she sent me some of my grandparents and she sent this one along with it with a little note that it had been my uncle's mother's. Um, so it was very sweet. So without even realizing that one, I collect mice ornaments, but also like no idea that it had actually been on the other side of my family's, their tree. I don't know. Anyway, I just thought it was a very weird coincidence and that's kind of 
the catalyst when I realized that I had the ornament. I was like, oh, I should do her tree. Now I did feel like I was gonna be able to find the ornaments like easier than last year's video. But again, it's one of those things where you see certain ornaments all the time until you're looking for them. Like I would see plastic red apples all the time everywhere. I've been looking for months. I have not seen them anywhere, but I did find these gold apples. So I thought those would substitute. And then the knit ornaments I used to see all the time because I can see in the photo that she has a few of the wreaths. I already had this wreath. I thought I might have more, but I only had that, but I did find some other knit ornaments. So I don't know, I'll just kind of do a little creative placement, I guess. I did think that if I turned this bell and kind of just showed the bottom, it almost sort of looked like a wreath. Um, but I did find some cool knit ones. Like I love this knit drum. Uh, I think that might've come like in a big lot or something at some point. I'm not sure if I found that this year or last year. Um, and then I do have some, she had some bells on her tree. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say they were likely glass bells, but I do have some plastic ones. It seems like she mostly had red and gold and I do see one blue one from the photos, but I do have a collection of glass bells as well as some plastic to work with. So I don't know, I was going into this feeling a lot like I felt last year, which is not confident. <laughs> like in my mind, it looks a lot better than when I go to execute it, just like last year. But I will say I had so much fun doing this last year and I had fun doing it this year. And I think that's all that really matters. And the trees are slightly a different shape, but I went ahead and put colored lights on it. We do have a very similar topper. I already had this topper because it just reminds me of um, vintage Christmas. So I like putting this one on my tree. And I always use colored lights as well because it's, you know, vintage aesthetic. But so I went ahead and did that. And another cool thing, last year I shared it on like my personal social media because I was still using it. And my aunts, who would have been like my grandmother's daughters, um, watched the video and really liked it. So that made me really happy that it brought them some joy because um, we lost my grandma like a long time ago. And while I was doing this, I decided to listen to Kenny and Dolly's Once Upon a Christmas because this was the Christmas album that my grandma played so much in the 80s. So I know it would have been playing a ton during Christmas 88. So then I went ahead and put the garland on the tree and I tried to just follow the similar patterns that were on her tree but again the tree's a bit bigger than hers and it's a different shape so i don't know and it was thinner garland as well so i felt like i didn't look as good as when i was looking at the reference photo but i don't know so then i just went ahead and started placing the ornaments trying to do again fine using the garland patterns as guides as to where to place the ornaments but Again, the tree is a different size and my tree, for some reason, the branches do not bend very easily. Like when I bend them into place, they just snap back to where they were. So it makes it difficult when you're trying to place an ornament in a specific area, but I tried to kind of make them as similar as I could. So I think I will try and sort of put photos up in the corner, certain areas, kind of like as a comparison. So overall, how do I feel about it? I think in my head it was going to turn out a lot better. However, it was a lot of fun to do and it also, like when I came down this morning because I did it last night and I saw the tree, it made me smile. And because of doing this, it's actually inspired me to decorate my tree in a similar way. So I never put garland on the tree, but seeing it on the tree made me think, well, maybe... I should use garland this year. So I'm going to decorate it so it'll be like inspired by my grandma's tree. So I'm gonna use the garland. I'm gonna add more to it because it's a little sparse for me, but in Thursday's vlog, you will get a look at my finished tree and what it looks like. So I'm gonna straighten the garland out and definitely add more ornaments, but yeah, 
I, it, she's inspired me to decorate my tree this way. So I think that alone was, it was worth doing. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't seen last year's video, you should go check that out. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon.